Hello and welcome back to another video. This problem we're looking to find the equation of the tangent line to this curve at the given point. So the first thing we want to do to find the tangent line is to find the slope, which is going to be the derivative of this curve evaluated at this point, 1, 3. So how are we going to go about doing that? Well, if you notice, we can see this as a power function, subtracting a power function, and then adding a constant. So our derivative, y prime, is going to be the derivative of this, minus the derivative of this, plus the derivative of the constant, which is just 0. So how do you find the derivative of 2x cubed? Well, you take the coefficient first, you bring that out front, multiply it by the exponent, times 3, and then you put in your x with the new exponent, which is the old one, 3 minus 1. Same thing here, we're subtracting the x squared. You can think of that as having a minus 1 coefficient, which you just put out in front, bring down the old coefficient, bring down the old exponent, as we did, and then our new exponent is 2 minus 1. And again, the derivative of a constant is just 0. This is something we can now simplify. So y prime is equal to 2 times 3 is equal to 6. x to the 3 minus 1 is x squared. Minus 1 times 2 is minus 2. x to the 2 minus 1 is x to the 1, which is just x. Now, if we want to evaluate it at this point, we know that this is x, this is y, so therefore we're finding it. Sorry, not at 3, but at x is equal to 1. So what we can do is we can plug in 1 wherever we see x, just since we know it's right there. So 6 times 1 squared minus 2 times 1. Solving this, we have 6 times 1, which is just 6, minus 2 times 1 is 2. So the derivative of this curve at this point is 4, which means this is going to be the slope of the tangent line at this point. So now if we have the just general equation of a line, y equals mx plus b, m is the slope, b is the y-intercept, the slope we now know is 4, and if we plug in the x and the y that we have given from the point, we can solve for b. So y is 3, which is equal to 4 times x, which is 1, plus b. 3 is equal to 4 times 1 is 4, plus b. Bringing this up here, 3 equals 4 plus b, just rewriting it. We can subtract 4 from both sides. These will cancel out, and we're left with b is equal to 3 minus 4 is negative 1. So b is negative 1, which means the equation of the tangent line is y is equal to 4x plus negative 1, which is just minus 1. That's going to be your final answer. As always, thank you for liking and subscribing, and I'll see you in the next video.